Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Dub Nation, Pacers fans, welcome back to another Roto Entertainment Warriors recap video. And uh, as you see by the final score, 104 95 Pacers. It was a great game, man. Back and forth game. At the end of the day, biggest story Pacers hit the shots they needed, Warriors didn't. Again, another great defensive game. You see, only 104 95 is the score. Warriors defense shows up again. The Pacers down the stretch, man, hit three or four consecutive uh, shots that were just heavily contested. They made the shots when it counted. The Warriors didn't. And that was the biggest difference in this game. Uh, in this game, stats for the Pacers 18 and 10 for Sabonis, 22 and 10, 22 and 12 for Miles Turner. He was really good tonight. Three of five from downtown, 13 for Brogdon, 12 for Sumner, 16 off the bench. For Aaron Holiday. But uh, let's talk about the Pacers here real quick. I mean, the Pacers shot 44% from the field, 32 for three. Uh, 10 offensive rebounds is another thing when you talk about the Warriors. Pacers did good. They played good defense on Steph Curry all night. They played good defense in the get go. Both of these teams' defense was really good tonight. Like I said, at the end of the day, the Pacers just they hit more shots. The Warriors, 29, 28 to 19 outscored in the first quarter. Pacers outscored him in the second, 23 and in the third as well. And the Warriors, oh, actually all three quarters, the Warriors were outscored by the Pacers, including 11 in the fourth. But let's talk about the Warriors. Steph Curry kind of struggled again. 20 points, four rebounds, three assists, seven of 17, three of eight from downtown. You know, Steph kind of struggled again, but he was starting to hit shots in the fourth quarter again like he always does. Just he just needs to step up a little bit more. But again, Pacers did a great job. If they get Steph. Andrew Wiggins, another great night. 7 of 17 shooting. 4 of 9 from downtown. 22, 7 and 3. Five blocks. Five blocks tonight from Andrew Wiggins. The Warriors defense. Wiggins. Draymond. Oubre. Watermaker. Damian Lee. Come on, Looney. Everybody played good defense tonight again, man. Warriors, they definitely missed Pascal. He was out of this game due to COVID protocols. We don't know his situation yet. Victor Oladipo did not play for the Pacers due to injury management. But uh, Draymond Green, 7 points, 10 assists, 6 rebounds. He was good defensively again, passing the ball. He was really fucking good tonight. James Wiseman, 4 of 11, 8 points, 9 rebounds, 5 fouls. Again, Wiseman, he's young. He's 19 years old, but again, in the foul trouble Again, needs to stop fouling. Needs to be better on that end. Kelly Oubre. Let's talk about him tonight. 6 of 11. 3 of 7 for downtown. 17 points. 5 rebounds. 2 assists. He had his second good game of the year. And it showed. I mean, Warriors losing by 9. He stepped up big for the Warriors. Another person who stepped up big. Damian Lee. 5 of 11. 2 of 7 downtown. 12 points off the bench. Bench without Pasco. Willie really didn't do much. They only scored, what, 15, 18, 21 points. But, um, yeah, Warriors gave up 10 different offensive rebounds. I mean, oh, actually, double-double for Aaron Holiday, 16 and 12. But um, Warriors, just the defensive rebounds, offensive rebounding, man. It's going to be an issue all year, I just feel like. They're giving up, I want to say, 10 offensive rebounds a, a game. But, again, a big story to this game. Warriors defense, Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre, Draymond Green. Warriors defense, again. Amazing tonight. Obviously, they had some lapses. But, jeez, man. I am having so much fun, even in a loss, watching this Warriors team play great defense. They got to shoot better. Warriors shot 38% from the floor, 34 from downtown. And they missed eight free throws tonight. Eight. Not much better for the uh, Pacers. They missed eight free throws as well. So, a lot of points missed there. For all team. But, my God, man. The Warriors defense... Warrior Dub Nation has just been unbelievable the last past five or six games. I feel like their defense every day gets better and better every fucking game, man. Whether it's Draymond, Steph, Oubre, Wiseman, uh, Wiggins. I mean, the Warriors tonight had what? Eight blocks. Five by Wiggins, two by Wiseman, one by Oubre. That's great. Eight blocks. I mean, the Pacers had nine. Two by Turner, two by Brogdon. Oh, sorry. No, they, they had eight as well. Five by 
Five by Miles Turner, one by Brogdon, one by Sampson, three by Subner. Oh, no, sorry, that, that's Turner. It was my bad. But anyways, Warriors, if I want to take a negative from this game, low struggle shooting, obviously only 95 points, but that's where you miss 15 points off the bench from Eric Pascal. Um, Got to get better at shooting the three, 13, only 34% tonight. Steph's got to play better. He played 36 minutes. 20 points, 3 of 8 for downtown. He's got to play better. Andrew Wiggins is having his best year of his career. 22 points. He's obviously 20 points again over his last 7. Kelly Oubre, hopefully he can play like this every night. If he's scoring 17 points a night when Pass goes back, the Warriors are going to win a lot of games. Damian Lee continues to produce off the bench. He's looking really good this season. Warriors bench ready to show up. And again, down the stretch, Pacers just make the more shots. And they made some great contested shots. Miles Turner hit some clutch threes today. Uh, I'm again, well, he was a three of five downtown. And at the end of the day, like I said, Patriots made the shots. Warriors didn't. And that was the difference in this game. 104-95, the final score. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like, sub, and notification bell. I'm live for every single Golden State Warriors game. We got Warriors and Nuggets next on tap. Um, excuse me. So come on by and hang out for that. I do a recap at the every video like you guys see. So yeah, again, pace is better down the stretch. Andrew Wiggins, offensively, defensively, the best he's ever been in his career. Steph Curry needs to hit up a little bit. Got to control the offensive rebounding. James Wiseman needs to pick up a little bit. He's been struggling lately. Draymond continues to produce for almost triple doubles every night. Kelly Oubre, can he step up? Can Damian Lee step up? We don't know how long Pascal's will be out a day. Uh, seven to fourteen days. We don't know. We don't know if he tested positive. If it was just precautions. If somebody in his family tested positive and he's you know, on close contact, we just don't know. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for this video. GGs to the Pacer fans out there. This was a really fun game. The stream it was a really fun game. Warriors Nuggets next up for the Warriors. They are now six and five. Pacers move to seven and four. So good home stand for the Warriors. They went four and three in this home stand. So now. Like I said, it's on the Denver for the next Warrior game. All right, guys. This is Rocha for Rocha Entertainment saying thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to take care and spike your hair. See you guys next time. Peace out and go Warriors.